Ancestry.com says I'm 12% Scottish. Yay. And there was much rejoicing. And 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 I can completely trust that. <laughs> yeah, the uh, uh, the thing that I find amusing about Ancestry is the Ancestry.com or or 23andMe or those kind of sites mm. is the updates. It's yep. the algorithm that they are using and the data that they are amalgamating <sighs> in order to uh, to put where you are and the more that they mm -hmm. learn, the more they refine and then there's an update and maybe you were 19% Scottish, now you're two. Mm -hmm. Or maybe you're now 67, like it's... Yep. I, I'm as annoyed as you are with the initial statement, but I think if they don't change things, that's worse. Because True. They're, they're hitting a moving target is what they're doing on this ancestry. What does, it, what does it mean to be 12% Scottish? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. What. Mm -hmm. You first have to identify a very specific period in Scotland. And right. then also, are you assuming every single person in Scotland has the same genetic makeup, even in that same period? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's <laughs> so what... percentages are a bad way to define these things to, to begin with, in my opinion. And they're, they're trying to make it a, a product that is digestible for people. So mm -hmm. breaking it down into percentages is what works for them. But yeah, exactly. I mean, how what what? How does the percentage even? It's it's a probability number. Yeah, is what it really is. Is like our our calculations indicate that probably approximately twelve percent of your yeah. family line came from this geographical region. Yeah, but it does not account for population shifts. It does not account for shifting genetic makeup in different areas, different times. It's based on modern national yeah. data collection of genetic samples. Yeah. So and more the samples they gather, the more they need to update their. Mm -hmm. records and that's where you see that thing yeah happening where they have to update things but yeah like the modern scottish person today is an amalgamation of lots of different waves of movement into and out of scotland yeah you know the scots people came from probably northern ireland if i remember correctly but then there's you know the, the, the picts there's mm -hmm. you know waves mm -hmm. of scandinavian folks coming in mm -hmm. there's mm -hmm. all kinds of other things that all influence what it means to be scottish today let alone scottish yep. in america and combined with various other mm -hmm. cultures and histories and backgrounds the other thing i'll point out is that the uh, uh, using my wife's family as an example? They're the four sisters, all related. You know, the, the same father, same mother. All mm -hmm. four sisters. Mm -hmm. um, they are each different percentages of Polish versus Irish versus German versus <laughs> Scottish. So that's it, like, damning to to large degrees. That's great. And it's what parts of the genes happen to be passed on yeah. to that particular person. Dominant so, versus recessive. Correct. Yeah. And then it also it, it asks the broader question of it's what Ancestry is actually doing or 23andMe is there there. It seems to me and I haven't done a ton of research I'm just kind of spitballing, but it seems to me what they're doing is they're looking at your individual genetic yes. makeup, not your family heritage, yeah. not nope. your family history, nope. not where your families came from. It's the individual tiny parts and how you are made up. And I think they. If I'm going to, you know, be conspiracy theorist, I think they purposefully muddy or allow that to be a muddy water where they're, it's a much easy, it's much easier to sell something when you're saying, hey, look at these percentages, look at these numbers. And right. people get excited about that. They recognize that they're excited and it's kind of like, yes, cool, I'm this. And it's now something I can hang my hat on versus really diving into it and understanding the genetic makeup, not the individual heritage. I would hazard a guess, and I have not gone deep on this. I do not know the answer to, 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 to this, is, is that they do have all these, you know, statements that qualify all this, and people aren't bothering to read them. Oh, I'm 12% Scottish. I better go get a kill. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that, that's mm -hmm. as far as they take it, and yep. that's where we encounter. I've never done one of these tests. It's also in their marketing, yeah. though. Is Remember? It, yeah. uh, what's the gent that we interviewed a while back? The guy back. did the commercial where <clears throat> we yeah. thought we were German. Turns out we were Scottish. And for know. the record, we're mocking, but he's a super, super nice guy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> But yeah, it's it's it, but it's in their marketing. Yeah. It's like, hey, look, you can now discover what you are. Yeah, um, fair. That's yeah. fair. So it's it could help certain people. I could understand if people are adopted. Yeah. Or you know don't mm -hmm. don't have you know that link. Or just don't um, have good records for some connect. for some reason in their family. Correct. Or IVF children or something like that. Mm -hmm. They can see something else and they can learn something else about part of themselves that they wouldn't otherwise know mm -hmm. but it's it's all must be taken with a grain of salt yeah yeah people don't necessarily want to i think so. but yeah it's it's uh, 
if you use it I had as a really a, good thought and then I lost it because I was you, talking. If you use it as a tool to add to your understanding of yourself as a human and under and add to your human experience and a way to open up other cultures to yourself and to explore different things, I think it is valuable. If you're just using it as a a, a, a quick and dirty tool, that's fine. Just understand it for what it is and don't try to make more out of it than it is. Does that make sense? Is that yeah, fair? Mm-hmm. That's that's fair. Yeah, okay. it's totally fair. It's it's interesting data points. Yes. It's just I I don't know. I don't always like how results are interpreted. Yes. You you <laughs> like the data, you don't like how the data is extrapolated yeah. and then you, people try to tie it into different You know things. what I like about it though? It totally undercuts racists. <laughs> the, uh, hey, guess what? Yeah, we're all from Africa, yes. <laughs> Go back far enough. I also uh, can't complain too hard about these sites because it has resulted in a lot of people coming to us. <laughs> a lot of people yeah, get their yeah. results and they get interested and then they call us because I'm Scottish. I need a kilt now. Yeah. But, but, <laughs> but I would really, I think if you have access to it and not everybody does, I think mm-hmm. genealogical records, historical records are far more important mm-hmm. than genetic codes they, because they, they're, they're, those are just based on averages. They're based on, you know, on, on sampling and simplifications. Of populations. You know, what your where your great 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 grandparents came from, if you are lucky enough to know, and not all of us do, is far more important. That's fair. Yeah, you know? and and honestly, that gets to the the deeper point that we always say is that if you love the culture, just love the culture. You know, yeah. just enjoy mm-hmm. it and and respect it and learn from it and and carry it forward in your own small way, and don't worry about the, you yeah. know, about your genetics. And you it's know? the, I a hundred percent agree, and the. The family genetics and the individual family story and, you know, where your great grandparents came from and all that kind of stuff. You can marry those two things. Mm -hmm. They don't have to each live individually. You can marry them and it just adds to your story as an individual and it allows you to pass more knowledge and more data down to your kids. Mm -hmm. Psst. Did you know this video is actually just a little clip from a bigger podcast that we did called Haggis Hunting? We have the full video over here, but if you'd rather just listen to it, not have to look at this ugly mug, go to your favorite podcatcher and search for USA Kilts for all of our content.